Hey everybody, so we are gonna be talking about angle pairs. Um, and this time I've gone ahead and written a lot of the stuff out just so we're not taking as much time with you guys just watching me write because it's kind of weird too. Um, there is a lot to write, pause it as you need, draw them as you need. You'll notice I'm using colors. Um, I highly, highly recommend you guys use colors. The main rule of geometry, by the way, while you're doing this is draw pictures. Sometimes all they're gonna give you are words. Um, what we're going to be talking about are angle pairs. And this right here is the definition of angles, which is these are formed by two rays with the same end point. And I want you to highlight that. And then we're going to be talking about different types of angle relationships. So when you have two or more angles, um, they and they add up to be 90 degrees, then they are considered to be complementary. And you might have heard of these before, and that's awesome, right? So, for example, if you're looking at this first example, angle, the measure of angle 1 plus the measure of angle 2 is going to equal 90 degrees. And that's how we would notate that this is complementary, right? And something important that we want to highlight, that it's the sum of their measures, and it's, it can be two or more angles. Right now in here, um, just because it's so tight, I've only shown you with two angles, but you can have three angles that can be complementary to each other. But all three of them have to be present, or four or five or whatnot. All right, um, another one here would be angle A, for example. The measure of angle A and the oops, plus the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees. And that's because 47 plus 43 does equal 90 degrees. And that's how we can tell that those two are complements to each other. If you need the math there, great. If you don't, All right. This one is very similar. This is going to be two or more angles um, are going to be supplementary. if the sum of their measures is 180 degrees. All right, so we're also going to highlight that it's two or more, and it's the sum of their measures. So you'll notice here it's the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 that equals 180 degrees. Right, same thing here. This is the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle D, which is equal to 180 degrees. Now, I've gone ahead and done the math already, but if you hadn't, 137 plus 43, 0, 1 carries over, 8, 1, ta-da, 180. Now, here's the deal. Sometimes you can get complementary and supplementary confused. Well, not quite. Um, here is a trick that my teachers taught me when I was in school, how many years ago? And right here, this because it's 90, you see this? You can actually make a 90 right here in complementary. And same thing with supplementary, you can make a 180 at the beginning. That's something cool that you can help um, to remember what is complementary and supplementary because they're never going to tell you on the SAT, oh, well, complementary is 90 degrees. No, they're not that nice. Come on. Test-taking people? Nah. All right. Now, here is where we get a little bit more different. Um, and I want you to check out this graphic right here, this diagram. We are going to be using it. All right, so we are now going to be talking about adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common vertex and side, but have no common interior point. So pretty much when you see adjacent, I want you to think right next to and that's what adjacent means, that it's next to something. So, 
So, in fact, this right here, angle ADB is adjacent to angle BDC. And you'll notice that we've got this kind of overlap happening here. Okay, that's that common, we've got our common vertex here, and this is our common side. And that's the only thing that they would share. They share one arm or one leg, if you want to think about it that way. Now, from adjacent angles, you can have some really cool relationships. Um, and because there are only two angles, okay, two adjacent angles right here, right, two of them are considered to be a linear pair if their non-common sides are opposite rays. And you'll remember we've talked about opposite rays quite a bit now. So their non-common sides are opposite rays. So look at these two right here. This part is an opposite ray to this end. Now there is a postulate that goes with linear pairs. And it states that if two angles form a linear pair, so if you've got a linear pair, then they are supplementary. Pretty much, linear pairs are always supplementary. Because they're always going to equal 180 degrees. So, think about it this way. If it's a line and it's a straight angle, which means 180 degrees, then the two angles are supplementary. So in this case, we can write that the measure of angle 3 plus the measure of angle 4 is equal to 180 degrees. All right. Pretty cool, and you'll be using this knowledge to help you answer quite a few questions. All right, now let's move forward. Okay, um, you can have, and don't worry about this example one, I know you're like, ah, but don't, you're fine, I got you. Okay, now two angles are considered to be vertical angles if their sides form two pairs of opposite rays. All right, so pretty much what that means right here, um, I am going to actually go ahead and label these out for us. Just so we know what we're talking about. I use a different color. Um, these opposite angles right here so say angle one and angle three, these are considered vertical angles. Their sides are forming two pairs of opposite rays. So this is an opposite ray right here. And this is another set of opposite rays. So it's got two pairs of opposite rays that are forming. And we can even write that the measure of angle one is congruent, that's what the symbol means, to the measure of angle three. And you'll notice you have another set right here. So these two, and you'll notice I'm writing two lines for this because it's our second set of congruent ones and they're not congruent, they're not all four congruent to each other. It's the measure of angle two is congruent to the measure of angle four. All right, um, something to write down opposite angles, okay, that's something to help you remember that these are vertical angles, 
and they are always congruent. This is going to be super helpful for example one, and two, and three. Well, mostly three, and for your homework assignments. All right, now this question is asking us to find the measure of angle ABC, this one right here, and the measure of angle DBC, so DBC. Okay, so what we do know is that this side is 90 degrees. Well, a line is 180, so this entire thing is also going to be complementary. So I'm going to draw my right angle in there. And that means I can write this statement right here. That the measure of angle ABC plus the measure of angle C, oops, sorry, DBC is equal to 90 degrees. Well, they told us what each of these are. We've got 11x minus 2 plus 5x minus 4 is equal to 90 degrees. So you're going to go ahead and solve your equation here. You end up getting 16x minus 6 equals 90. Then you get 16x equals 96. And x is equal to 6. Woohoo! You're not done. That's not what the question was asking. Remember, the question is asking you, what is the measure of angle A, B, C? So you have to drop the 6 right here back in. So the measure of angle A, B, C is going to be 11 times 6, which is 66 minus 2, and that's going to get you 64 degrees right there. And then the measure of angle D, B, C was 5 x minus 4, so that's 5 times 6, which is 30, minus 4, and that's going to get you 26. So these two would be your answers right here. And geometry would get so excited, oh my god, I remember my algebra. Well, you got to apply your algebra. you got to answer the question that's been asked. So let's try another one, and in this case, it's a linear pair, which means these are supplementary. All right, so... Because they're a linear pair, I can write that angle ABC, oops, I don't have my labels on here, huh? There we go. Um, plus the measure of angle CBD equals 180. And I'm sorry, I don't have room, so I didn't put the M's there. Hopefully y'all did. Maybe. All right, so we've got 8x plus 9 plus 6x plus 17. That's going to equal 180. Well, solve for x. And when you are done solving, you should get that x is equal to 11. Take that and you're going to drop it in. All right, so x is equal to 11. Angle A. BC is going to measure 8 times 11, which is 88, plus 9, which gets you 97 degrees. And then you've got angle CBD, which is 6 times that X, which is 66, and plus 17, which is going to give you 83 degrees. And these would be your answers here. All right, this next one... <gasps> You might take a minute to go ahead and copy this diagram down. I'm going to have you use this diagram to determine the relationships of the angles listed. And I'm going to use color. All right. So the first one it's asking us is to find the measure of angle 1. I'm sorry, the relationship between angle 1 and angle 2. Well, they don't make any special angle, but they are right next to each other, which means they are adjacent angles. All right, this next one right here is asking us about angle 4 and angle 5. So angle 4 and angle 5, these two are also right next to each other, but notice they're making a straight line, which means not only are they adjacent angles, but they're also a linear pair, 
which by the way means that they're supplementary. All right, let's try this next one. We've got angle seven and angle nine. So these two right here, ooh, so you'll notice angle seven and angle nine They are adjacent, they're also linear pair, and they're supplementary. Just because the line isn't, you know, completely flat, if you turn your page right now, it would still be a flat line, it would still be a straight line. So I'm just gonna write adjacent linear pair. I'm gonna abbreviate and I'm gonna write supplementary. All right, here's our next one. We've got angle six and angle nine. So this one and this one. So these two are across from each other, which means they are vertical angles. And if you recall, because they are vertical angles, these two are congruent, which means you need to draw these congruency marks that I just did. And by the way, quick side note, that means that angle 7 and angle 8 are also vertical pairs. Not that it's asking us, but hey. You can be smarter than what they ask you for. And then they're asking us for angle two and angle six. What? And angle two and angle six, they're not next to each other. So they can't be adjacent. They can't be linear pairs. They're not across from each other like angle six and nine are. So they can't be vertical angles. And we don't know if they're going to be complementary or supplementary. So they have none. They have no relationship. Guys, you made it. Congratulations.